Hi there, welcome to Tech Upbeat. Uh, this is Poco F1 device running on Pixel Experience uh, Plus Edition ROM. Uh, previously, it used to run on MIUI 11, and uh, I suppose I will be receiving MIUI 12 um, in the next month, I mean in September 2020. So, this is the latest Pixel Experience Plus Edition for Poco F1, of, uh, which is uh, August 2020 edition. So this is my first experience even I haven't used the device uh, since yesterday. So I will be walking through uh, few features of uh, Pixel Experience Plus editions. So these are the quick settings and uh, you have down arrow buttons to go through in deep settings. For example, if you click on here, you can access few more settings related to D and D or uh, other features of the profiles. And you can also access a few other settings uh, related to mobile data as well. Uh, so these are there in quick settings. You can uh, click on edit icon here and see few other quick settings available. Like you have focus mode, like a digital well-being focus mode, live captions, or you have screen recorder, screen capture, record audio, ambient display and all so you have night light for uh, disabling blue light uh, when you feel like your eyes are stressing out so these are the quick settings and i have enabled uh, record screen also but uh, in few android devices running on android 10 uh, they have uh, selectively disabled this uh, screen recording option which you can enable by turning on your developer options and usb debugging you, with the help of some adb commands you can get back the screen recorder option and coming to the volume options uh, you have three options where you can uh, toggle between your music volume notifications volume and as well as your alarm volume or you can switch between profiles like vibration and uh, silent mode here itself and you have live captions option enabled here like uh, speech when detected you can turn it off because usually we don't prefer using it and this is the launcher of the pixel like it's pretty simple and straightforward and the icons are uh, have different styles like you can long press on the home screen and go to styles and wallpapers go to style and you can uh, toggle between different icon for example if i switch between this uh, to crayon and uh, other style and update you can see even my uh, quick settings icon sh shape also got changed and my icons on like app icons also got changed uh, let me switch back to the normal one which i liked There is very less bloatware. Um, I have installed a couple of applications, uh, but you will be getting a few Google applications like Google Play Store, Recorder, Safety, Google Photos, and Google Camera. It comes with a pre installed Google Camera, which is a 6.2 version, I guess. But I have few issues with this uh, version. I will be installing Gcam 7 later. And um, if you swipe up, you will get. Uh, get to see the recent applications you can easily switch back as switch to any application or swipe up to close uh, those applications which is great and the apps are loading pretty fast compared to miui and you can see the animations are also pretty clean and light and um, there are a bunch of applications which i liked on google pixel experience uh, this recorder option uh, which you can see you stop it give it a title save it go back to that go to live transcript and play but recording your voice uh, with the live transcript uh, which is a great thing this helps in recording meeting notes or classroom notes or any quick notes that you want to note down and you as you can see this is a great feature i guess and you also have a safety application which uh, you can turn on by you can give your blood type your uh, emergency contact numbers and you can set up so at a, a given time every day it will check the safety of the user and sends uh, 
quick notifications to the emergency contacts uh, it's a cool feature to have especially for female employees who, are, who work late nights and also let's go to the settings uh, screen and find out what's new in there you can go to display settings or go back here you can set a face unlock uh, on the latest version of uh, pixel experience uh, plus edition uh, it's even more secure and if your eyes are closed the face unlock or won't work which is a great thing i mean um, but i don't prefer using face unlock uh, because i feel fingerprint is much more secure than a face unlock as you can see i have turned on d and d and uh, ringer mode is in mute right now and these are all the settings let's go to the display you can go to live display and you can uh, um, calibrate different color profiles this is a great option but I don't uh, prefer messing out with uh, my screen colors uh, there are rotation settings like if you turn on auto rotation you can uh, set uh, to which degree you can, your screen uh, supposed to rotate but I don't also use that you can al also turn off notch uh, if you want to um, so there are other gestures like uh, double tap to wake or double tap to sleep so there are different gestures and uh, you can also see the dark theme is enabled on this device and um, there is a digital well-being option also here you can set different parent controls and see your data like how much time you are spent on different uh, category of applications also let's go to uh, the about phone section and see the device name uh, the android version 10 and the build number of pixel experience plus edition beryllium so these are the settings that i guess are of important and you can go to the battery and um, see uh, different apps how much um, power they are consuming in individually and you can turn or turn off battery saver or uh, turn off adapt uh, battery so these are the quick settings and uh, i found uh, there is a great uh, feature on um, pixel experience plus edition uh, so you can selectively turn off no notifications or pause uh, notifications of certain applications for certain uh, duration or rest of the day see for example uh, if i long press on my whatsapp you can see a pause option notifications for whatsapp will be paused for the rest of the day so this is a great feature but uh, i somehow use notice save applications to block all the notifications from all the apps uh, whenever i am doing a screen recording or whenever i am showing my smartphone screen in any seminar upi applications like uh, phone pay or the google pay they are all working fine which means that these applications are not able to detect that i am using a custom rom uh, which means you don't need to install even a magix i mean you don't need to flash magix application i guess so this is a, a quick review of a uh, pixel experience plus edition on poco f1 and i will be doing a video on uh, must have applications on android device like whenever i set up a new android device or whenever i reset my smartphone i install uh, certain applications i believe which everyone should also try these applications to increase their productivity that's all folks i hope you enjoyed my video do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future uh, update notifications and i'll catch you in my next video thank you